The skills that I want to teach you in this video will apply to, well, one of the traditional spinning discs. It could apply to one of these solid state drives. It doesn't matter if you have one of these NVMe drives or maybe you just have a thumb drive. It's all going to be applicable regardless of what your storage device is. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm on my Windows 10 machine and one of the first things that we want to do is open an administrative command prompt. So I'm going to type in the search field down here in the taskbar CMD and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to elevate that command prompt to an administrative command prompt by choosing yes to the user account control. Now inside of our uh, command prompt, one of the first things that we want to do is we want to run a command called disk part. And disk part does require you to be an administrator on the local machine, so please keep that in mind in order to launch this. Now one of the first things that we want to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to format one of the drives that's already plugged into this machine. And to do that, we first need to identify what the drive is, or the disk in this case. And what we do in order to determine that is type two words here, list, space, and then the word disk. And when we do that, we hit enter, and you're going to notice that we have a series of disks. Notice there is 0, 1, and 3 in this case. The one that I'm looking for is this 30 gigabyte disk. So that is the one that we need to select in order to start working with that. In order to do that, we're going to type select space disk and then a space in the numerical value of the disk that we want to format. In this case, it's going to be disk one. So we're going to type one and we will hit enter. Now that doesn't look like it's done much. So it is important to make sure that you validate that you have chosen the appropriate storage device. So you don't um, incorrectly format or clean the wrong drive and wipe out data. So in order to do this, we can just retype list space disk and hit enter. And one of the things you're going to notice is that we have this little asterisk symbol next to disk one. That lets us know that we've selected the appropriate disk that we want to work with. Now, one of the first things I'm going to go ahead and do is ensure that we clear everything off this disk. And in order to do that, we're going to type the command clean. And when we do that, you'll see that we have get this response back, um, disk successfully or succeeded in cleaning the disk. This part did. Uh, now, the only reason I'm hitting enter a couple of times is just to move that dialog up and make it a little bit easier on your viewing uh, abilities out there. Now, once we've done that, we have to start to... Uh, format or partition, I should say. We can't really apply a file system yet because we don't have the partitions uh, set up in the way that we want. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to create a partition that will allow us to apply a file system. And that's going to be a primary partition. Now there are ways that you can abbreviate this. I could type create space and I could type part and that would work. And then I could type prime and that would say create partition primary. You can use these abbreviations, but for sake of our demonstration purposes, I want you to be aware of what the full command is. And then if you choose to use the uh, abbreviations, it'll make you that much faster in the long run. So we're going to say create space partition space primary, and we're going to hit enter. Notice that disk part lets us know that it has succeeded. Now what we can do is we can choose to list the partition. So I'm going to list partition and hit enter. So list space partition, hit enter. And it lets me know, just like when we were verifying that we've selected the appropriate disk, that I can see the little asterisk here and that I'm in the partition that I want to um, modify, format, or make uh, adjustments to. If you have multiple partitions, you need to pay attention because if you create, let's say three partitions, and you decide to apply a file system, make sure that you select the right partition. And if I had to, uh, I could type select partition one, just like we did when we selected the disk. Now by default, since there's only one partition here, it went ahead and it selected it for us. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to determine, do we want, this next step is optional. If you want to make this partition bootable, you can type the word active. And notice that it says it's marked that partition currently as active. Now it's not going to hurt us to mark it active. It's not going to be a boot partition, but I wanted to show you that optional step in case you needed it as well. 
Next thing that we want to do is now we want, we've got a primary partition which will allow us to apply a file system. Now we're going to use the format command. I want you to be aware that the format command stands by itself as a utility inside of the command prompt, but the nice thing is it's also bundled in to the functionality of disk part. And we can type format space fs for file system equals, and for us, since we're in a Windows system, I'm going to do ntfs. I could, if I decided to, I could do something like XFAT. Uh, I could, if I wanted to, do something like FAT32. Maybe I'm going to make this um, something that needs to be bootable across multiple operating systems, and I don't want to stick to just the Windows uh, 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 file system. I could make it FAT32. But since we're in Windows 10, and this is a Windows 10 series, we're going to go ahead and uh, type NTFS, and then I'm going to do a space. Now at this point, I can add more to this if I wanted, but I'm gonna add just a few things. I'm gonna add a label for our identification purposes. You could do this as well. And I'm gonna type my underscore, and then from here, I'm gonna type drive. Now, once I do that, it's gonna label, it's gonna give me a drive label that says my drive, and that's for my purposes to be able to identify it. And then finally, what I'm gonna do, I could let this run right here by itself, and it would go through a full format process. But for the sake of our demonstrations, and to keep this relatively small, what I'm gonna type on the end of this is quick. And that's no different than using disk management in another video that we showed you, where you apply the quick format. And we'll go ahead and we'll run this. Notice it didn't take long, but we still can't use our file system, or we can't use our um, drive yet because we have a file system, we have a partition, but we don't have a mount point. So one of the last things that we have to do in order to use this drive that we've just formatted is we have to type the word assign. Now, if I type it without any arguments after that, what it'll do is it'll assign the next sequential drive letter. And if in Windows, typically, it's going to be C colon for Windows, D for your optical drive, and then E for any kind of plugged-in drive that you might have after the fact. And most likely for us, it would probably be drive letter E. But I'm going to control what drive letter I want to assign to our storage device here. And I'm going to do a space, and I'm going to type letter equals, and well, my name's Wes. Let's just go ahead and do W for Wes. And then we're going to run that. Notice that File Explorer comes right up, and now I can actually see my drive, see the fact that it's here, and we can start to use it. Now, I want to show you that you can do this right here from the command prompt as well. So if I type exit, and I'm back into the Windows directory, I can type W colon for the drive letter, and I can hit enter, and well, guess what? Now we're in that drive that we've seen in File Explorer. And if I wanted to test this out, whether I could use it or not, and does it have a valid file system on it, I could type echo, and we could type ep, uh, echo hello world. We'll go back to programming 101, and I could just pipe that out to test.txt, and boy, that really didn't do much, did it? But we can go a little bit farther here. I can type from the command line, I could type notepad, and I can type test.txt, and there you go. When I open it, I can see now we've uh, created a primary partition on that drive. We've applied a file system. We've created a file. And now we're reviewing, uh, res um, reviewing the results of our process here. Very easy if you know the few steps to take in order to format your drive with disk part. If you like what you've seen in this video, be sure to check out all of the how-to videos in the Windows 10 series and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.